Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here, coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. The date, October the 16th, 2018. And the time is 1.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. We have a lot to go over. Uh, we'll do it together. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. Okay, these are all dating today the 16th, coming out of Ynet. The IAF attacks incendiary balloons launchers in North Gaza. Nigeria, ISIS-linked extremists kill abducted health care worker. Incendiary balloon launched to the Gaza Strip border region fire starts. I've seen pictures. It's just huge black plumes of smoke at the Gaza border with Israel, okay? Iran's boasting that their land-to-sea missiles have increased to 700 kilometers. Incendiary balloons cause fire near the kibbutz, or Hanir. Now, the Egyptian intelligence delegation has arrived in Gaza. Avigdor Lieberman, the defense minister for Israel, uh, said Tuesday, the time has come to deliver a heavy blow to Gaza's militant Hamas leaders after weeks of border violence. This is a direct quote from him. We are not willing to accept the violence we see week after week, he told reporters in the Gaza division, adding that the state of Israel and the defense establishment have done everything in their power to reach the situation of March 29th before the outbreak of violence. slow going. Let's see here. Two Iranian security forces have been kidnapped on the border with Pakistan. Erdogan says that some material at the Saudi consul, uh, consulate has been painted over. Remember, we had spoken about the cleaners that showed up over there. I guess they painted to get rid of blood and blood stains and just ridiculous. Uh, hundreds of Palestinians demonstrate near the Gaza border. Militants seize 14 Iranian security forces near Pakistan. So there's at least 14. U.S. has now imposed sanctions on Iranian network that supports child soldiers. I can see the millstones lined up all across the earth. What did Jesus say? It would be better for them to have millstones tied around their neck and tossed out into the sea than to hurt even one of these little ones. Okay? It was... Um, Give me the story. The U.S. Treasury Department on Tuesday imposed sanctions on a multi-billion dollar financial network that supports an Iranian parliamentary force that recruits and trains child soldiers for the country's powerful Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, known as the IRGC. The Banyad Tavan Besiege Network uh, supports a volunteer paramilitary group, uh, the Basij Resistance Force, which works with the IRCG, Treasury said in a statement. So that would be Mnuchin, Steve Mnuchin of the Treasury Department. 
come on. Um, there's just so much going on. Complete and utter, utter chaos, okay? We don't have much longer, saints. No, we don't. Jesus comes quickly. Glory, hallelujah, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Explosion at a factory in Iran injures 21. More fires break out amid incendiary balloons across the Gaza border communities. Okay. And then, I want to get out of that. I'm going to go out here and find the peace in the Middle East. Yes. Greenblatt. Where is it? There's so much news coming out now. It's just like... Where is it? Really? Now I can't find it. Surely it's in the breaking news. There's so much going on, everyone. Um, go down here. It's got to be in here. Uh, may have been dated yesterday. Sorry, y'all. That's what happens whenever you're... We'll go to Mideast. See what it says there. Maybe they shuffled it over there. Because Jason Greenblatt came out today. You know, Middle East Peace Envoy. Let's see if they stuck it in there. Nope. Okay. So the Security Council is supposed to be meeting tomorrow. Now, tomorrow is Wednesday, and this is when their largest, uh, the Palestinians, come in and, you know. Okay, maybe I can find it now. Let's see here. Get back to the... First page. Come on. Keep going. Really? Unbelievable. Go in here. Mideast and World News. Maybe they shuffled it over there. But I'm not. Seriously. Okay. We're going to go into Israel National News. And we're going to read this real quick. Parts of it. Surely, 
That's how quickly the move, the news is moving. Okay, it's just all converging together. I don't need your ads. Well, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, uh, he was in Turkey. And now he, or I mean, he was in Saudi Arabia, and now he's on his way to Turkey. Okay, here we are, right here. Trump plan includes the unification of Judea, Samaria with Gaza. White House envoy Jason Greenblatt reveals the Trump administration's plans to reunite Gaza Strip with Palestinian Authority. This is coming out today, the 16th. Um, this is what, it, well, it says here, uh, plans to include a provision for Palestinian Arab unity. Greenblatt was quoted as saying, Let's be clear about something. Gaza and the West Bank have been separated for 10 years, not only physically, but politically, between the Palestinian Authority and Hamas. It's absurd to deny that reality. In contrast, our peace plan intends to bring them together. Make no mistake. We are in this to help all Palestinians in both the West Bank and Gaza. The type of disinformation being spread by some parties who have not even seen the plan yet wish to be spoilers does nothing to benefit ordinary Palestinian lives. Uh, Greenblatt did not reveal further details of the White House peace plan, which has yet to be finalized but implored all parties involved to withhold judgment until the specifications of the plan are released. Uh, he added, Greenblatt, Once our plan is released, all parties should read it and judge it by its merits. The PLO should be a positive force to change people's lives for the better and not try to sway people before they have even seen our plan. Going on down, it says at the final uh, uh, paragraph, despite reconciliation talks between Hamas and the PA, culminating in the signing of a full reconciliation deal in 2017, Gaza has remained under de facto Hamas control, leading the Palestinian Authority to withhold payments to the Strip, including purchases of electricity from Israel. Okay, and this full reconciliation deal, you can go over there and read it for yourself. Okay, um, uh, Hamas and Abbas, the PA and Hamas, they do not see eye to eye. They have never seen eye to eye, okay? They are different forms of Islam, different forms, okay? Um, Sunni versus Shia. You know, this um, is just crazy insanity, okay? Uh, the Daniel 9 and 27, you know, the covenant with many, Okay, every time we turn around, it's Israel, the United States, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt. Okay, these factions that are coming together for this fake peace, because there will be no peace until the Prince of Peace, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, sets his feet upon the Mount of Olives. And by the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be Somewhere around seven years from now, amen, because the Spirit and the Bride say come. Now, the rest of what I wanted to share, um, right now here in America, um, there is severe flooding in um, the uh, Texas region around Austin, Texas. Um, the Lilano 
uh, river and the dam over there is it's flooding okay uh, there have been boats coming down over the over the dam crashing into the water the waters are coming up out of the dam okay severe severe flooding in Texas um, the state of Maine complete blackout they have no electricity whatsoever don't know why but they have been totally shut off so uh, there's that uh, yesterday because of the Santa Ana uh, red flag warnings the high winds uh, in California I guess your governor governor Brown um, thought it would be a good idea to shut off everybody's electricity in the Napa Valley region surrounding areas where the high winds are so that area has no electricity they say that they may be turning it back on today um, because of fear that the electrical lines would break off because of the high winds and cause fires okay so there's that um just in the last couple of hours less than two hours there was a 3.5 earthquake in western montana okay a 2.9 in utah okay You know, the word of the Lord is going forth like a wildfire. I see that war is coming for Israel. I don't know how much of it we will have to see. Um, I believe the Lord Jesus Christ is about to remove us. Amen. For we are the bride of Christ. And we are not subject to the 70th week of Daniel, the time of Jacob's trouble. Not the church. That is the seven-year tribulation. Um, in Zechariah 9, Zephaniah 2, Isaiah 17, Ezekiel 38, um, all of, well, especially Ezekiel uh, 26, 27, and 28, all speaks about Shepha and Dedan and Tira and Sidon. Tira and Sidon that is Lebanon, modern-day Lebanon, which is also spoken about in Zechariah 9 and in Zephaniah 2 about uh, uh, Philistia, uh, about the strongholds, okay, in Gaza and Ekron and Ashdod. I suggest you might want to read these prophecies, okay, um, as well. Because Shepa and Dedan, that is Saudi Arabia, okay? And Tyre and Sidon and the strongholds thereof, that would be Hezbollah, okay? That rules over Lebanon. And they have been consistently um, saying that they have some 80,000 missiles uh, pointed at Israel, ready to give them a mighty blow, okay? So, um, we're just sitting here, and we see all these things coming, you know, but we don't have to fear, because the Lord Jesus Christ, there's a reason why he has to snatch us up out of here, amen? Yes, because the tribulation is about to start. I love you guys. Stand strong in the faith. Um leave you with some encouraging words from our Savior Jesus. Amen. There was a, a parable that he gave in uh, Luke 18. It was the story of the persistent widow. Uh, we'll go uh, 18, uh, 1 through 6. Luke 18, 1 through 6. One day Jesus told his disciples a story to illustrate their need for constant prayer and to show them that they must never give up. He said, There was a judge in a certain city 
who was a godless man with great contempt for everyone. A widow of that city came to him repeatedly, appealing for justice against someone who had harmed her. The judge ignored her for a while, but eventually she wore him out. I fear neither God nor man, he said to himself, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she is wearing me out with her constant requests. Then the Lord said, Learn a lesson from this evil judge. Even he rendered a just decision in the end. So don't you think God will surely give justice to his chosen people who plead with him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will grant justice to them quickly but when I, the Son of Man, return, how many will I find who have faith? God bless the reading of his word. We are going to stand strong because our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ will stand. He is the rock of our salvation. And our faith, our hope, our love in him will stand. Maranatha.